In an attempt to boost economic growth, the government has introduced some FDI reforms. Foreign airlines will be able to invest up to 49% in debt-ridden Air India. 100% FDI for single brand retail via the direct route has been approved. Construction businesses were also permitted 100% FDI. The government claims that the reforms intend to attract larger FDI inflows, which in turn are believed to induce growth of investment, income and employment in the country. FDI, 100% FDI in single brand retail will uh, seriously affect the small trader, small shop owners. And practically what will happen, the single uh, disaster impact is on the employment. Retail trade sector are the second biggest employment giver in the country after agriculture. Uh, it will kill more jobs than it will create. Medium and small scale construction companies, they will face a serious challenge with FDI. This will not benefit the country as a whole. But the government, it is, the, it is under pressure with the WTO agreement and etc. Because Air India is a government company and most of the 80% routes we are operating that are the loss making routes. Being a government company, we have to operate. Because we have to serve the nation, employees will be in a bad shape. They are not talking to the employees at all. We have given so many memorandums to minister, to the uh, government, to the uh, our CMD, but nobody is talking about the employees at all. What will be the fate of the employees? And if you are handing to the private, that means it is a golden mine. Don't consider this to be a reform thing. There is a wholesale program in the camouflage of making India to destroy India's manufacturing and business capability, India's economy, to only to benefit the foreign companies. It will not help. It will not help the poor and the middle class and the lower middle class. It may be a rich section and the upper middle class, they can get them a better accommodation as well. Wanting to appear investor-friendly, the government introduces these reforms ahead of the World Economic Forum in Davos. Mr. Modi will be meeting with CEOs of top multinational companies on the investment opportunities being thrown open in India. FDI into India has been on the rise. It promises to boost India's economic growth. But is it really going to create jobs? Is this growth really going to be inclusive?